We've got another person who's visiting our club just to take a look, and Will, if you would uh, take note of where Spencer uh, Dixon is sitting from Tejas. Say hello to Spencer. We have special guests today of Peg Johnston, Pam, and Henry is here to see us. Say hello, Henry. Bob Thompson has, uh, has a guest with him today, Steve Thompson. Where are you today? Say hello. And uh, Grant brought a guest today, Jody Brown with Studio T for, uh, Furniture. Say hello to Jody. Marie uh, Wheatley is not with us today because she is speaking in front of the Colorado Women's Chamber uh, today. Um, Marie is with uh, uh, American Humane Society. Uh, the tradition in our club is for the secretary to uh, make a transition in this part of the program by telling a story or, or maybe some humor. But considering today's program, I think you'll actually have a better chance uh, if I just tell you that today's program will be introduced by Sue. Sue. Thank you, Brian. And I'd like to introduce my special guests today. First of all, my dear friends, Carol High and Paulette Ray, please, please stand. My wonderful stepdaughter, Michelle County. and my fabulous husband, Bob Martin. <laughs> Bob, as you may know, is just, just finished up as president of the Highlands Ranch Rotary Club, so we've had a big time rotary year. And uh, people ask me what that's like, and I say, well, you know, I don't know what other people's pillow talk is like, but ours kind of goes like this. So how close are you to your rotor, to the Polio Plus Challenge? <laughs> Anyway, uh, we've, we've enjoyed both of our years. Now it's my, uh, my pleasure to recognize the 2008-2009 club leadership who has led this club to yet another wonderful year. Uh, first of all, the officers and directors. President-elect and director and this club's representative to District Executive Committee, Roland Thornton, and uh, when I introduce you all, I wish you would open your gift and put it on. And uh, I'm going to run through. I'm going to run through the people, and we'll applaud all at once. Secretary Jim McGibney. Now, Jim, uh, you can put yours on, but you also have to come up here. Being secretary is a big time job, as you know. Very good, it's great. <laughs> and I really appreciate all the support he's been. He does everything from uh, what he does as development director and some really awesome, impressive things. And he also checks me out to see if I have, if I have salad in my teeth before I come up here. So I uh, couldn't do it without you. Hopefully this will help you relax after a good year. Seth Patterson, I want you to come up too because being treasurer of this club is a really, really big job. He's currently struggling, in fact, with a $50,000 deficit. Uh, that uh, Any suggestions you have? He don't collect your money at the door. <laughs> any suggestions you have for cost-saving measures? Email them to Seth. Seth, you do so much work, and I hope that helps you relax too. Okay, after Secretary and Treasurer, Sergeant at Arms, Fred Taylor, open your gift and put it on, please, and stand and take a bow. First, first Vice President, Andre, Andre Van Hall, and Second Vice President, Harriet Downer. Thank you so much for all you do. Open your gift. <laughs> The outgoing directors, uh, besides myself, are Blair Gifford. Blair, are you here? Blair, 
Thank you so much. Carl Lindsay and Denny O'Brien are outgoing, and actually they weren't, neither one of them were able to make it uh, here today, but we thank you for your service. And Blair, I gotta say, we're, we're, we're gonna be losing Blair to the Mile High Club. He, he can make, a, he can make a, my, a breakfast meeting easier than a lunch meeting, and it's gonna be a big, huge loss for us, but we expect you to make up here a lot. Continuing directors are Allison Clark Hardesty, Ed Crabtree, Phil Geddert, Bruce Peterson, and Jim White. Please stand and take a bow. Put your hat on. Thank you. The standing committee chairs are the people who really help us do what we do. And of course, many people are doing double duty. Uh, Jim White, for example, is not only a director, but he chairs club services. Please stand again when I say your name. Sue Ryden uh, is communications chair. She also uh, works for D DRCF, but uh, that's, uh, Chuck's already uh, let you know about that. Denver Center for International Studies chair is Randy Dunn. Jim McGivney does double duty uh, as besides secretary. He's chair of our development committee and done a wonderful job with that. Uh, meetings committee is Ed Crabtree, membership Will Snyder, 2008 new member class project, 2000, uh, it, Peg Johnston has been the den mother, she, Marie Wheatley, Rotary Foundation support, Marie couldn't make it today, Peg and Harriet, Pe uh, Peg Harriet as we, as we know them, Peg Johnston and Harriet Downer uh, chair Rotary International Programs Committee and do such a great job. Social activities, Doug McLemore. And uh, you all know the many other things that Doug does. Les Garrison, World Community Services, Deb DeMuth. And an ad hoc committee that will be going for a few years, Andre Van Hall has been uh, wrestling with cats uh, this year trying to steer the, uh, the Centennial Planning Committee. <clears throat> Mike Severns chaired the Branch Rickey Award this year, and, and Peach and Pitt, Carol Duncan and Jay Yake chaired the Peach Fundraiser. We thank you for that work. Chuck Everall has done a marvelous job as, as chair of the foundation, and uh, put your hat on and stand up too. <laughs> we, we really appreciate all he's done. Uh, the Rotary staff, of course, you know we couldn't do without them. Steve Engbers is our treasurer. Holland Stoll, our office assistant. Jamie Demmett keeps us, uh, keeps us all straight here at the meetings. And Darlene Mast, well, what can I say? Uh, we just couldn't do. Darlene, would you please come up here? Where'd she go? There she is. Well, I did, I did get you a baseball hat, too, but I also want you to have another special gift because you're so special to us. The, uh, let's see, where am I? The last but not least, the people who greet you each week that we are so happy to have uh, here every week. Pete Thebus. Wonderful Pete Thebus, who grabs your hand and reels you in every week and always knows your name. Jim McFall, Bob Harris, Rex Post, who, by the way, is the longest-term club member at 57 years. Pretty amazing. I can't tell you how indebted I am to all of these people, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'm looking around for my, this is my parting shot. This is my last opportunity to address you as president of this marvelous, marvelous club.